Discover the chilling tale of the Dark Force as three sisters navigate a world of danger and magic. After fleeing witch hunters who destroyed their home and murdered their mother, the sisters embark on a treacherous journey to escape the relentless pursuit of these hunters. They possess unique magical abilities, passed down from their benevolent witch mother, but they must hide their powers from a society that fears and despises witches. As they search for safety and answers, they learn about the enigmatic dark force that orchestrates the witch hunts, a malevolent entity that thrives on fear and pain. Will the sisters find allies in their quest to stop this dark force and restore balance to their world? Or will they fall prey to the very darkness that seeks their destruction? The Dark Force The three sisters had been walking for hours, following the faint light in the distance. They hoped it was a sign of civilization, a village or a town where they could find shelter and food. They had been on the run since the witch hunters had raided their home, burning it to the ground and killing their mother. They had barely escaped with their lives, taking only their cloaks and hats and a few precious items. They knew they were not safe in the forest. There were creatures lurking in the shadows, hungry for flesh and blood. There were also traps set by the hunters, who were relentless in their pursuit. The sisters had to use their magic to protect themselves, but they also had to be careful not to draw attention to themselves. Magic was forbidden and feared by the common folk who believed that all witches were evil and deserved to die. The sisters had learned their magic from their mother, who was a powerful and benevolent witch. She had taught them how to heal, how to communicate with animals and plants, how to manipulate the elements, and how to defend themselves. She had also taught them the history of their kind, how they had once lived in harmony with nature and humanity, until a dark force had corrupted some of their brethren and turned them against each other. That was when the war began and the witch hunters were formed. The sisters had never seen the dark force, but they had heard stories of it. It was said to be a being of pure evil, a shadow that fed on fear and pain. It was said to have a human form, but also the ability to change its shape and appearance. It was said to be able to possess anyone it wanted, turning them into its puppets. It was said to be the mastermind behind the witch hunts, using its influence to spread hatred and paranoia among the people. The sisters did not know why the Dark Force hated them so much, or what it wanted from them. They only knew that they had to survive, and find a way to stop it. They hoped that there were other witches like them, who had escaped the hunters and were hiding somewhere. They hoped that they could join forces with them, and fight back against the Dark Force. They reached the end of the forest, and saw that the light was coming from a large mansion on a hill. It looked old and abandoned, but there was a faint glow in some of the windows. The sisters felt a surge of hope. Maybe someone lived there, someone who could help them. Maybe it was another witch or a friendly human. They decided to approach the mansion cautiously, avoiding the main road and taking a hidden path through the bushes. They reached the gate, which was open and rusted. They entered the courtyard, which was overgrown with weeds and vines. They saw no signs of life, except for some crows that cawed at them from the roof. They walked towards the front door, which was also open and creaked as they pushed it. They stepped inside the mansion, which was dark and dusty. They saw paintings on the walls, depicting people in elegant clothes and jewelry. They saw furniture covered with sheets and cobwebs hanging from the ceiling. They felt a strange sensation as they walked through the mansion. It was as if someone was watching them, or waiting for them. They heard whispers in their ears, but they could not make out what they were saying. They reached a staircase that led to the upper floor. They decided to go up, hoping to find a room where they could rest for the night. They climbed the stairs slowly, holding each other's hands. They reached the top of the stairs and saw a long corridor with many doors on both sides. They chose one at random and opened it. They gasped as they saw what was inside. It was a room full of corpses. The corpses were of men, women and children, all dressed in clothes similar to those in the paintings. 
They were lying on beds, sofas and chairs, or sprawled on the floor. Some of them were mutilated, some of them were burned, some of them were stabbed or strangled. The room smelled of blood and decay. The sisters screamed in horror. They turned around to run away. But it was too late. The door slammed shut behind them. They heard a lock click. They heard a laugh. A cold and cruel laugh. A familiar laugh. It was their mother's laugh. But it was not their mother. It was something else. Something that had taken her form. Something that had killed her. Something that had been hunting them all along. Something that had finally found them. The dark force. So, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this story. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more scary stories.